playing on just playing MGM all day. Don't really feel like moving around so much. But I'm in Batley's right now. I gotta check the status of a weekly promotion. And then get my free drinks with my Diamond Pulse vouchers. a day, two Gatorades, two waters. Uh, I checked my status. I need to play an hour 48 at a certain time in the middle of the night to guarantee my uh, promotion. So probably around 2.30, I'm going to come back here to Bally's and uh, guarantee that. And the rest of the day up until then, I'm going to play MGM, hopefully, not get so bored that I have to go to Mandalay or something like that. So. After I play those two hours about at Bally's, I will probably meet you on the roof of the Bally's parking garage for some kind of interesting story. Hopefully something happens at the tables. If not, I got plenty of stories in my back pocket. So it's about 5.30 a.m. This is about 17 hours later. I think that's what I said earlier in the day when I was walking through Bally's, that this would be the next time I would talk to you. I played MGM. I took a break to eat lunch, I went back to MGM, and then I was really tired, I only slept like two hours last night, I was falling asleep at the table, I came to Bally's, I needed about two hours to clinch my spot in this weekly promotion, so I played that just now, and our table was getting kind of short, so I left. So I played those two hours. I think I got eight hours, 49 minutes in at MGM and two hours, five minutes in at Bally's. And that's a good day. I made up a little time. I'm still behind plenty. This upcoming week needs to be like an 80 hour week to get close to back on track. So we were talking basketball at the table and I asked a trivia question two nights ago at Bally's. Shane Battier, he went to Duke, won a championship at Duke, then he was on a few teams in the NBA, he won a championship with the Heat in the NBA. He's the only player to average one block per game and one made three per game for his career. Usually players don't do both of those things. So I asked that trivia question, who's averaged at least one per game for his career in Bally's? I gave everyone at the table a half hour, I said I would give five dollars to anyone who got it right. Uh, no one was getting it. I gave them a hint that he won a championship in college and a championship in the pros. No one got it. With a minute left, I said, this is the best hint I'll give you. I said he went to Duke. But this hand had just started with a minute left. I had my alarm set for 3 a.m. And no one's really making any guesses while the hand is in progress. The one guy who I thought had the best chance at getting it gets all in that hand, loses all of his money, and as he gets up to leave, there can't be a lot of time left, because I gave the hint when there was a minute, and then this entire hand played out. As he gets up to leave, you know, it kind of like hits him, you know, he should, you know, give one more guess. He goes, oh, if, if the guy went to Duke, it's probably Battier. And about three seconds later, my alarm went off. So he just got it. It was kind of sad because he lost all of his money in that hand, and I threw him the $5 chip as he was leaving. Like I said I would, but it was I didn't expect him to get it right as he was getting knocked out and uh, leaving the poker room. So that was two nights ago. Just now at MGM, I gave that same trivia question, not for money this time, but I gave the same trivia question to the table. Uh, no one got it. When I say it's Shane Battier, the guy on my left says, oh, I have a friend who's really good at trivia. I bet he would get it. He calls this guy on the phone. The guy doesn't pick up. A few minutes later, the guy calls back, so the player sitting to my left picks up and says over the phone to his friend, you know, this guy at the table just gave a trivia question, I bet you would get it. I think he's about to explain the question to his friend and see if he gets it. After he says, you know, I bet you would get this question right, 
He just hands me his cell phone, and now I'm talking to this stranger over the phone about NBA trivia. So I explained it, I gave him all the hints, little by little, the guy didn't get it. The guy said his area of expertise was uh, baseball trivia, so he didn't get it, but I did not expect <laughs> to be talking on the phone to uh, that guy's friend. That was, that was funny.